In this short tutorial, I will show you how to set up an alarm or event in your DSS Pro system. So, first of all, go to administration part, go on the devices, then go for device configuration, since we are not going to connect but configure some of the devices which are already configured. Choose the camera and then the uh, channel. It can be named by channel free or whatever name you give it to the channel. Then go for the intelligent analysis. In the intelligent analysis, choose the one you would like to set up. So, for example, this is 7442 camera. I can do the people counting, face analysis or IVS rules. I will choose IVS rules now. Click to next. Then choose the detection region. This is done for me. Then rule configuration. Now we are going to add a rule, for example, parking. So click on parking and add a rule. We are changing to parking. Draw. Where is the parking violation? For example, if someone is going to park on those two spots. Okay, and we are done over here. So just click save and the intelligent analysis are set up. Then in the event configuration right on the camera, you can click on the event and just find the parking violation over here in the menu. As you can see, there is more alarms available. I choose this parking uh, violation since it's easy to show. Then choose the priority. For example, this is medium. You can put some remark, for example, for receptionist, ask him to go away. So this text will show up when the alarm is triggered. Link action. Okay, I want to link the camera with this event. In this, in this case, it's an event source. So I want to show the video directly from this camera to receptionist or to the central monitoring station. I would like to have some pre-recording time, for example, 10 seconds and the recording time of the event 20 seconds. If you want to have, if you want to pop up this alarm, click over here. If you don't want the alarms to pop up, don't mark this option. It's always good to make a snapshot. So I really recommend go to trigger the snapshot. You can trigger snapshot from one or multiple cameras. You can select also multiple cameras from the list. So just go over here, click on the menu and choose, for example, one camera and also this camera. So select multiple cameras. Then you can link it also with the PTZ alarm output, link with the AC, for example, open the door when uh, something is triggered. So you can select the channel, which, which, should be, which door should get open. You can also uh, link it with the video wall. So the video will pop up on your wall or sending the email notification. Now you are going to choose which users are actually receiver of this event. So you can choose one of them or multiple uh, number of the users and you are done. You see the event is nicely configured. If you don't like to set up the event from this part, you can also go to home and set up the events over here. Over here, you can see all the event setup of the camera. This just makes one more thing for you. You have to choose also the camera later on. So one extra step. In order to not to make a mistake, I really recommend to go from the devices. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for watching this short tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials. Thank you.